Hi and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. This is a B-Move review and I'll be having a look at movie Frankenfish. So Frankenfish was a direct-to-TV uh, film and as you can probably guess from the title is about sort of genetically modified killer fish. So uh, we start off the film in a sort of prologue where we see sort of someone being sort of sucked in under the water by some sort of unseen monster. Obviously we'd, we'd probably, if you didn't know the title, you'd probably assume it was some sort of shark or something like that. Um, then we're told that there's a, a, a medical examiner, they find the body and a medical examiner is, is sent to, to investigate because they have such strange, you know, strange wounds, I haven't sort of seen anything like it before, along with a representative from the um, what sort of wildlife and fisheries um, agency. Uh, so when they have a look at the body, they, they decide, it's, you know, it's not an alligator, it possibly could be a bull shark. Uh, and they're introduced to a sort of a small sort of swamp Sort of community that they're all living on sort of houseboats or sort of uh, or houses that are essentially on the water and uh, we're told that there's some sort of some sort of boat that has turned up there a few uh, sort of a few miles down the road uh, on the river uh, that's been abandoned there so they again investigate and they discover it's full of uh, dead Chinese men and you know there's some sort of mystery about what's going on there and they inadvertently set, set off a beacon and they go aboard we soon find out uh, that there's actually some sort of giant fish uh, that soon attacks this uh, small community and it's gradually sort of picking off the, uh, the, the community there. The homing beacon actually attracts the attention of a, a kind of group of big game hunters ultimately that have actually, have actually genetically made these fish to actually hunt. And uh, you know we're, we're sort of whittled down to the sort of last few as they sort of try and battle through the what uh, turns out to be multiple fish including a 25 foot uh, male one which is the sort of like the, the, the end of film bad guy essentially so um okay, looking to about this film this film is has no originality really it's it, it's very very um the the, <clears throat> the script is, is extremely predictable you can tell exactly which characters are going to die and you can probably tell which characters are going to die in which particular order and the characters themselves are actually fairly sort of stereotypical uh, personality traits you've got a lawyer for example so you know he's going to be a bit of an asshole you've got the kind of the girl who, who turns out has had a crush on this uh this this medical examiner since they were at school and things like that and she's like you know a, a good and brave girl deep down and things like that you kind of got the uh the, the voodoo um, sort of mystical mum and things like that. So, uh, you know, the actual originality is sadly lacking from this film. And the, the, the special effects, now here's a negative that I, I, I would maybe dispute to some degree. Uh, the special effects, looking at it now, do look a bit ropey in regards to some of the CGI. Not all the CGI, some of the, but some of the CGI where you actually see the, the fish, particularly when, they, when they're underwater, looks quite bad. But, Let's we remember this is actually a low budget film and it's you know it, it's made in 2004 so they're not going to be fantastic special effects and to be fair some of the effects are actually fairly good so I, although I won't I, I'll point it out I certainly won't mark it down for the fact that the special effects are maybe not quite as as realistic looking as you'd expect in this day and age nearly 10 years on however this film is actually very very well made unoriginality aside this film is actually a competently well acted and entertaining film. Um, you know, there's it, it looks like a higher budget film than it probably is. The production values, are, you know, are good. The the sets look good. The, the characters are, and the actors, although there's there's no I'm really any sort of note in here in regards to sort of sort of fame levels. You know, everyone does a good enough job, I think, to suffer for this type of film. There's a couple of sort of faces, particularly in these kind of like big game hunter bad guys you may recognise. Um, but, you know, no one mega famous. But, as I said, perfectly fine acting. Um, but it was, an, it was a fun film, ultimately, at the end of the day. It's an entertaining film. I really enjoyed it. Yes, it's not particularly original at all, with it, by any stretch of the imagination. But if you can kind of get past that, I think there's a lot to enjoy here. So I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. Uh, have you seen it? Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.